Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bird Brains, episode number 10. Whoa! They are all cheering, the crowds and masses are going insane, and they're doing that because I'm John Colby, and they actually invited me back for another episode. Um, sitting with me, uh, if, if you all want to look to my right, you'll see Jonathan Bird. If you look to my left, you'll see, and what's funny, hold on, pause. Half. Jonathan Bird just waved. <laughs> no one can actually see him. He doesn't know this isn't TV. Uh, to my left is Brian Clausen. Uh, to his left is David Bird, and sitting directly in front of me is Joanna. Hey, Push Joanna, do you buttons. know the, the song uh, Joanna from the musical? I feel you, Joanna. Cool. All right. Well, that was awkward. You know, you know, JoJo's in Susical. There's a girl named JoJo. Yeah. Boom! Look at that theater teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Spit some real awkward knowledge. What have you? What shows have you directed that we maybe know or have heard of? Um, I oh, what did you have heard of? Um, oh, I don't pick shows of people. Oh, I did. I did an adaptation of, of Cat in the Hat, where I literally just took the children's book Cat in the Hat, and if you read it to yourself, it'd take like seven minutes, but I turned it into a forty-minute play awesome. for little kids, and it was really good. We had like one hundred and fifteen sound effects. It's a wow! Genius. Yeah, it was really neat. Um. Have you done Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat before? No, I hate that show so much. Oh, oh we can't be friends now. That's we can't right. be friends. You're can, about to I be can, banished. I, I close my eyes. <laughs> back curtain. See, I know all of it, but see, you get it. Tune it's in not, to episode 11. Oh, that's my... Tune in to episode 11 where we have a new host, someone who likes good things. <laughs> yeah. So you're not one of those theater teachers that... Oh, I thought we were going to turn this into a musical. If, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought, if, if it's something popular, you're not going to do it. I mean, because oh, no, no, I, I, I like because I have a friend out in where I live out in where, where it doesn't really matter. Um, Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the one. Close, close, actually, right? Um, where we always make he always talks about you know all the, all the hip hop artists that he likes that nobody's ever heard of. And, yeah, you know, it's always like so if it's popular, we you don't like it. Yeah, so, that's what hipsters do. Yeah. They only so, like things until they're popular, and once right. they get popular, like so, like is that, is that your style for your for your? No, absolutely not. I oh, just okay. I just don't like a lot of old like older musicals and stuff like that. You I just, directed Aida, which you probably never heard of, and I directed Susical, which oh. you probably heard of. Seuss, I've heard but, of that. Yeah. Susical, um, yeah, heard of Susical. Our, GCA yeah. did it uh, a couple years ago. Actually. Yeah, see, so like I I like fun stuff. That's I just like the music. Ooh, there's a musical out right now called Hamilton, and it's about. Alexander, Alexander Hamilton. Is there a duel at the end? And uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I don't want to give it away. Sorry. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Spoiler. Who wow. uh, but people think it's like history and it's really boring, but it's all rap music. It's all really? like hip hop, and it's going to win all the Tonys. This, I saw it this summer. And it's really good. Cool. Are they in white wigs and, and white stockings? Um, no. The thing, no. Here's the thing. Oh, okay. The majority of the cast is either black or Hispanic. Huh. And like they're like, what are you doing? And the, the guy who wrote it and plays Alexander Hamilton is Hispanic. He goes, all our forefathers were immigrants, so doesn't it make sense that if we did a modern day version of it, it would be immigrants? And I'm like, my mind was just blown. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, musical theater. <laughs> Brian, talk about your favorite musical. What, what's a musical? <laughs> it's like a play with they sing in it. Never mind. It's high school musical one. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, that counts. And we found Joanna's favorite piece of artwork. And Evelyn Burke. Yes, right? Oh, yeah. There's it's a you. play with people, people my grandma, spontaneously I, burst My grandma would dance. be really mad at me right now because she actually still is involved with musical theater in uh, California. Oh, really? uh, she's retired, but she does uh, musicals. But And I used to go watch her in them all the time, but I couldn't. And we're going to take a quick can't break remember. from our regular podcast to go to the Brian Clausen Apology Circle. <laughs> this is the part of the show Sorry, where Brian Grandma. apologizes to people who he's hurt their feelings. Brian, go ahead. <laughs> well, we have somebody waving her hand in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done anything like that, Lauren. <laughs> Moving on. This week is going to be all fan mail. Um, David put on the Twitter and asked some of the followers for some questions uh, that they could ask. And uh, JB is going to read off some questions to you, Brian. We're going to um, see what your thoughts are on some of these different topics. Go for it. All right. <clears throat> First, from Sven in Red Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, that's Sven. fancy. Sven. All right. He asked, what is your favorite race to compete in, not counting the Indianapolis 500? Or the human race? <laughs> the amazing race. The amazing yeah, race. That, that, that is the correct answer, by the way. The time. amazing race. Rat right. race. <laughs> the rat race. Not that movie. That movie was awful. That was hey, terrible. The, hold on. But before you answer what your favorite race is, how many tracks? If you had to take a wild guess in your oh, whole yeah. career, just a wild guess. How many different tracks have you actually been to? Oh, I don't know. Do you have any idea? 
<laughs> the official statistician of the McElroy's. She doesn't have any idea. We turned our Lauren, histori- said, Lauren says officially more yeah, than four. It, no, so more we know four. it's more than four. <laughs> I just broke the uh, theater. Just, <laughs> I broke the whole place. The whole studio I, it, is coming down. It's probably, probably somewhere between 100 and 200. Man, somewhere, somewhere in between 100 and 200. So, yeah, you really narrowed it down there. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. We need a Brian Clausen historian. We need How about you give historian. me $1 to $200, and I will give you $1 to $200. That's pretty much the same thing, right? right? I no, mean, so, it's closer than $1 to $300. <laughs> that's, that's true. You got to hedge your bet. Right? So what's been your favorite race to compete in? Uh, Man, that's a tough one. We do just so many cool events throughout the year. Uh, my two favorite are probably uh, probably pretty predictable if you follow short track racing. It's probably uh, the Chili Bowl in January. Um, it's a lot of fun to run. Um, we get 300 cars all indoors. Uh, they build a, a fifth mile track indoors, park 200 trucks and trailers indoors. The look on your face right now is Tulsa. awesome. It's all indoors. It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. It's in the, it, I don't know if it still is currently, but at one point it was the largest freestanding building uh, oh, wow. in the world. They used it to uh, work on oil riggers and things like that so oh cool uh, so it's all wide open uh, they actually build a fifth mile track they got seating for probably fifteen, twenty thousand 20,000 people around the outside of it and uh, then they park 200 trucks and trailers out the back so that's always a lot of fun it's a week long you don't have to worry about uh weather other than getting there and getting home but yeah. you don't have to worry about Ice getting storm. snowed out or rained out or Really, even being cold because you're inside all day, so That's it's not cool. so bad. How long uh, has that track been around? Uh, this eighty seven was the year first year. As I say, it's coming up on thirty 30th, years. It's really, thirtieth yeah. this year. So yeah, thirtieth year this year of That's the event. Cool. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then uh, uh, the other predictable one would be uh, Knoxville Nationals, which is uh, in August. It's kind of the same thing, just outdoors for uh, uh, wing sprint cars. So. Take those two out of the equation. I really enjoy going over to New Zealand. Uh, it's a lot of fun over there. Um, they get a ton of people, and actually the track is in an old rugby stadium. Oh, wow. Um, so it's uh, kind of a cool setup you know, with, with basically fans all up, you know, the bleachers, and then on top of the hill, uh, they got a big grassy hill up there. Um, they get uh, anywhere from fifteen to 20,000 people Man. every night when we're over there, so it's a lot of fun. And, and uh, they do a lot of cool things around the races, uh, um, that, uh, that make them, make them special. And, and they're, uh, they're pretty passionate about it. It's, uh, uh, anytime one of the Kiwis wins, uh, over there, they, they go nuts. So it's pretty cool. That's cool. Hey, now it's that time in the segment of the show where Brian Clawson does an accent. <laughs> this week's accent <laughs> is going to be New Zealand. So this is what Brian Clawson's impression okay. of a New Zealander sounds like. <laughs> Listen to this. There's not enough bleeps on this podcast to sound, like a, to sound like a Kiwi. And we're moving on to the next question. Well, well follow-up question from Spin. I'll have to do that when I get back in January because I start talking like him. Yeah, yeah. Pick right. up the accent. Yeah, you start. You know, the thing is, yeah. when Brian goes and races there, Kiwis never win. He he wins all the races when yes. he's there. Some years. So do Some they hate you? <laughs> Some years. Well, all right. But, see, the thing is, you, you can bet on the races over there. The bit, oh. uh, so. So, really? I didn't yeah. know that. So a lot of people made a lot of money on me last year. Can you nice. bet on yourself? Uh, I don't know if that's allowed or not. <laughs> so well, the answer is no. Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, is Lauren no. Into that, will you? No. But, but I think Lauren <laughs> went ahead and laid some money down last year. No, that's the same thing. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pete Rose said that one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was right, kids. He was right. <laughs> Stay at school. All right. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> so the follow-up question from Spin is, what is your least favorite racetrack to race at? My least favorite. Yeah, where do you just, like, David? I have to, I have to go <laughs> race. No. Don't say Speedrome. Are you going to say Speedrome? I was just going to say that to be funny. Okay. Just, <laughs> just to hurt I don't your feelings. Even know. Like, you're, like, okay, we have to race here, but I just don't like it. Forever, I hated going to Terre Haute. Really? To be honest. Um until you won. The I've done all right track. over there. I've done all right there the last few years, but I just have always uh, just, not just been like a big the fan. smell of the town itself. <laughs> exactly. Now that is a miss. No. Exactly. And the paper factory's gone now. That's where the smell came from. Is that what it was? Yeah. The paper factory. Well, okay, because I'm going to say, years ago I went yeah. there. Yeah, no, smell. The, the paper so, factory's gone. That was where the yeah, smell so came that was, from. Yeah, so that'd probably be the one place that I've raced a lot that I just. Terahodians, you can uh, Never direct really your enjoyed. hate mail to John Colby, care of Corn Country. Yeah, uh, Todd Hawks, <laughs> former member or, uh, member of Comedy Sports, 
uh, and former resident of Terre Haute. He grew up there. Uh, he's very proud of it. So, uh, no, Todd Kenworthy said the wrong one. Todd Kenworthy, if you're listening. Oh, yeah. Um, I hate Terre Haute. That's all. <laughs> cool. Hey, let's move on to the next question before all right. Todd tracks uh, me down. So from Tynesia in Hallville, uh, she asks, Brian, big, big what, was, what was your best win? Big fan. First time caller. <laughs> right. Huge. Huge. Long time listener. Long time listener. Tynesia. Bird brains reaches. Hallville. Yes. Hallville. All region. What was your best win that you've ever had your entire life? Best win. Best win best ever. Win ever. What's the first, so, first one that comes to your mind? What's the first well, one? Well, it's obviously the last one. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> well, speaking of that, I was going to ask the, as a follow-up. So $20,000 you just won for winning the Jason Leffler Memorial at Wayne, Wayne, City, Wayne County Speedway in Illinois. Is that is that your biggest uh, open-wheel paycheck? Yeah, probably my biggest open-wheel paycheck. Wow. No, biggest short-track we, paycheck. Yeah, short-track well, paycheck. Well, that's right. <laughs> Midget sprint. And give him a few more years, and Indy will be paying about that to start. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> it has been going down recently. I thought, I thought, I thought, it, I thought there was inflation happening, but somehow there was money lost between 2012 and 2015. Yeah. It turns out, but it wasn't any five hundred when you pour milk on yourself. You just win the milk. <laughs> That's it. Now. You and just the win cow the cow. Oh, oh, and the cow. And the cow. So, uh, so that was anyways, biggest... off topic. Uh, uh, yeah. So. So, yeah, biggest payday uh, in a short track car, which was pretty cool. And obviously, uh, um, if you haven't had the chance to watch that race, oh, I don't man, know. Uh, I don't really know. Power Eye Facebook. Uh, yeah, we're at Power Eye Facebook. I think Jack Slash has some highlights of it on his Twitter <coughs> and stuff like that. But it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I tell you, it's pretty stressful uh, when it's that close uh, and you're battling. And the difference between first and second is seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. So you're kind <laughs> wow. of, you know, and, and that race, uh, you know, money uh, money aside, meant a lot to everybody there. Um, obviously, Jason was a uh, a big part of of the uh, open wheel community, uh, not only on the short track side, but you know, he ran ran Indy and and uh, you know, had some ties down south as well. So about everybody in that pit area was probably probably had a story about Jason or how he affected him. Even even guys that didn't get to race with him. Um, you know, probably grew up watching them, and, and uh, uh, so to win that race was was really cool, especially in that manner. I was pretty uh, certain he was probably smiling down watching that race. It was pretty, it was a fun one. But uh, biggest ever, uh, you yeah, know, it's probably again predictable. Chili Bowl is probably probably the, the biggest one. I think that's a race that uh, uh, you know you can go your whole career without winning, and nobody really second guesses you um, because it's so hard to win. Um, uh, but, uh, to get it done and, uh, to be the guy that stopped, I think five or six straight years of Swindell right. winning it, yep. um, was pretty cool too. Now was, when you're racing, uh, it, like you're in the lead and it's the final lap, does everything just get a little more tense and a little more like, don't get white flag fever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, obviously it depends on, uh, you know, the race and, and there's some nights, you know, your car has just been so good or, or you've driven to the front that, uh, you know, you kind of have everybody covered. Um, you know, it's more about, you know, m just minimizing, making sure you don't make a mistake. Uh, and then there's some nights, uh, you know, like the other night where we were literally swapped the lead back and forth, you know, the last 18 laps, probably 20 times and, and, uh, uh had a restart with two to go. And, and, uh, you don't really have time to be careful at that point. You got to keep attacking and, uh, so every race is different, and you you know you just uh, it's a lot about how it played up to it, uh, you know how the race played out leading up to that point that uh, kind of determines how you uh, attack those last few laps. We talked about in the last podcast when you got hurt, you spent six months as a student of the sport, and you talked in Victory Lane about you had to use every trick in the book to beat Rico Abreu, uh, and there you know you kind of you kind of see some of that stuff that you just studied that you just know. I mean, I mean. You were low, you were high, both ends of the tracks. You know, you studied from last year, Darren Pittman winning that race. He stayed low yep. and won that race that way. Is that just the type of things that happen yeah. all the time? I mean, I think, you know, it's hard to get. I, I'm, I'm, or is it just I'm instinct? Get, I'm getting old now. Uh, I'm 26, which, you know, yeah. isn't yeah. terribly old. But, uh, Ancient. You know, that means I've been racing sprint One foot in the grave. It means right. I've been racing sprint cars and midgets for uh, 12 years. or 13 huh? years now. Um, and so, uh, I think that sort of viably makes me a veteran. Um, and I've seen a lot of different situations and, uh, like you said, it's, uh, it's as much about learning from your mistakes. You know, last year, 
uh, you know, I don't really feel like I made a mistake, but um, got beat to uh, just track changing and, and things like that. And um, so we didn't want to make the same mistake twice this year. And we were able to, uh, uh, you know, where we were really bad last year on that end, we were really good this year and it's what won us the race. So um, yeah, you know, you're always studying even, even uh, now, you know, even night to night, there's, you know, anytime you can go back to the track for a second, third, fourth time, uh, you study tendencies, uh, you have an idea of, of how the track's going to move and, uh, and dirt track racing, uh, being the first guy to find it is, is, uh, uh, really important, especially when you get, uh, you know, up front with, with guys like Rico and, you know, Christopher wasn't there, but Christopher Bell and, right. uh, you know, even going back a couple of years earlier with Larson. So, I mean, you know, you, you have to be, uh, uh, on top of it. And, and, uh, usually the first, whoever, whoever the top guy is that finds it first is going to, going to have the advantage and kind of control the race. You and I were standing outside of turn one and then I, I the Kyle Larson, the helicopter in was, was that him talking to you? And, I mean, he was talking to you. Yeah. Was there like, was a bunch of guys that uh, came in, uh, from Talladega, obviously being the Leffler race. Right. Um, there's a lot of guys, uh, yeah, I that were that was... in, uh, Talladega that, uh, they actually flew up and then, uh, uh, I think, I think the nearest airport was a little bit ways away. So uh, um, Braun was there with, and obviously he was a, a big part of Jason's career. Sure. And he had his helicopter, so uh, he was helicoptering people back and forth to the airport. Great, so. now I got to get him a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm Put that on the list. <laughs> Wash and dry. Not sure about helicopters. So. Which order, though? All right. Yeah. Well, it's up to it's up to Lauren, really. So, uh, All right. Yeah. Just... So it was. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was, it was cool to uh, you know actually did a really cool deal and. Uh, where uh, they pull the kid out of the grandstand and uh, he he picked who he thought he was going to win. And if he got it right, uh, Kyle was going to give the kid five grand and donate five grand to the Leffler deal and or the Leffler fund. And uh, he ruined fortunately that for him, fortunately <laughs> for him, unfortunately for him, he didn't pick me. Nope. But, uh, but uh, still a, a really cool gesture. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what makes short track racing specials our, our fan involvement. Cool. Hey, I have a quick question for the birds. Um, don't you guys also remember when you officially were old at 26? Yes. Over a, over a decade ago for all of I us? I still feel like I'm 26. Remember that? My my maturity level is probably even less than that. Yep. Yeah. About half of that. Probably. Right? Yeah. right? <laughs> Boogers. You know, I, I already had I had five kids, and I was, I was like, you know, my youngest were four. I'd been through lots and lots of diapers, so I did feel old at 26. Wait, you had five kids? How old, how many kids did you have when you were 20, at 26? I already had five by the You already had five yeah. at twenty six? Yeah. I, I was I was I was single when I was twenty. <laughs> and I when I by the time I was twenty two I was married with five kids. So Can you imagine yeah. right now having <laughs> five kids? No. I'm no. 37 years old and I barely maintain a cat, <laughs> <laughs> and I only have that because it's my girlfriend's and she wants it. So, <laughs> well, but, well, thank you to to the Tynesha from Hawville for that question. Yes, thank you, yeah. Tynesha so, from Hawville. Yeah, um, great question. <clears throat> and we've gotten questions from literally around the world. Yeah. yeah. So this next question is from Zach M in Bayside, California. That's weird. Um, who's your favorite Saved by the Bell character? <laughs> wait, wait. Zach from Bayside. Zach from Bayside. Right. Yes, that is weird. That the, is the, beat, the beat, the beat, the Bayside. If you guys remember, that's the song. That <laughs> totally <you're> Slater. <laughs> Slater. I thought you might have picked the girl. <laughs> totally <laughs> Kelly. Uh, yeah, totally Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Get up with that. I'm like, yeah, if yeah. anybody, Kelly. That's you the Kelly? only correct answer. <laughs> Kelly Kapowski. Is Kelly, uh, Kelly Jesse uh, or Lisa Turtle? Were there any Asian girls on Saved by the Bell? <laughs> <laughs> like in the background at the match. In one episode, there was one that Asian girl in the background at the match. So, so if there was ever one of those, <laughs> that would right. be the right one. answer. Right. The answer. The but answer, I tell you what, the AC, Kelly Kapowski. Those, Kelly Kapowski. Those, those, those dimples, though. Mm. Did, he just, did he just? <laughs> mm. yeah. 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 Well, yeah. you can scoot over this way if you can. All right. Now, <laughs> yeah, now right. sitting to John's right yeah, yeah. next to Jonathan between <laughs> Three of us so on our side of the Mario table. Lopez. Yeah. Mm. What was their song? That's a man candy right there. What was the right great there. song that they, 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 were, they, were, they were the, they had their band? Oh, wait, uh, Friends Forever. Was it Friends Forever? Yeah. Zach Attack. Yeah. Okay, Zach, Zach Attack. Attack. Yeah. 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 Friends forever. That's right. Yeah. I, I was thinking. I was thinking for some reason that was Brady Bunch or something. David really blew it with his uh, <laughs> awkward comment about AC, but he really what's brought awkward, back what's, around what's by not, awkward only, about not it? only remembering the name of the Zach Attack <laughs> band, but also their one hit single. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, David, you can just go back. Over. I thought it was funny when uh, Fallon brought back all the characters and that they was did great. that thing. That was oh, really yeah. good. That was funny. What was the What was the dance? The little group that the girls 
uh, created though. What was there like Hot Sunday or something? What was there? That's that, that's from Elizabeth Berkeley's other movie, I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey kids. <laughs> what, what, no, what, what, movie is that? What, what movie is that? I don't know what you're talking about. I forget the name. I All wish, right, we're moving I, on. I wish she was in one other movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think she only made one movie. Enough said. The other really threw everybody off. There. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm still. Uh, I want to go back to the. Why was my comment awkward? I don't. I don't understand. Mm. I Next, don't question. Know. <laughs> Next question. Next <laughs> question. All right. Um, from the 49th state, uh, Dwayne C. in Honolulu. Uh, another another wild question. Have you ever needed bailed out of jail? I don't know why he's asking this question, but have you ever needed to be bailed out of jail? <laughs> never needed, Dwayne C. Who never needed to be ba- needed uh, a bail. I'm really surprised they, the question they never wasn't posted bail. if he ever jumped bail Well, from Dwayne C. Well, you know. Possibly. Doggone it. Doggone it. <laughs> so <laughs> the closest, you, have you ever needed to bail a friend out of jail? We'll hunt this no. answer down. <laughs> this is just kidding. Somebody. I don't, I don't get the reference. I, 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 do you get the reference? Cut. I don't even get the reference to that one. I, I think they're going for dog the bounty hunter. I don't know. Do you think they can hear us if we're like, <laughs> you and I are whispering to each other? I'm trying uh, to just defend them lightly. Just enough that <laughs> if I yell it, I feel like they might be more offended. Right? See, well. Yeah. This is... Next I mean, question. Hold on. So, well, actually, can we take away, a question. Can we, take, you... can we take his question, ask him the abilities... <laughs> The privileges away. I, these are not my questions. These are from these the are fans. From, he's, he's, only only asked, couple, yeah. he's only got a couple left. He's only got a couple left. Yeah, but the two, the two people, they don't, there's only been two people to screen these questions, and they really need their <laughs> privileges you, taken have away. Have you ever bailed anybody no. out of jail? No. You ever need, okay. All right. So you're saying that the two people that have the privilege to look at the questions ahead of time shouldn't be related? Is that what you're saying? Maybe you should go outside the family and have other people look at them to make sure? I'm just saying that they had their chance, and I think they've lost it. Well, has uh, anybody what? in this room ever needed to be bailed out of jail? No, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> John. I, I can't read. So I can't be looking over the questions. I just say things out of my, bra- out of my mouth. It's curious. <laughs> well, we have any, no, we have right any known felons right. you know, okay. amongst us? Nope. This, no. All right. So uh, a Midwestern question here from Arthur F. in Milwaukee. It's a two-part question for some reason. First, he says, hey. And then he says, have you ever water skied over a shark? <laughs> <laughs> never have. Never jumped the shark? Never, never have. Jumped never the jumped the shark. Well, well, here's a question. Uh, you're a race car driver. <laughs> when you were little, did you ever do stupid stuff? Like, I feel like race car drivers normally have, like, a more, like, adventurous spirit. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, jump I've, off the roof I'm probably the most boring race car driver <laughs> in the world. <laughs> is that what you're getting at? Is that what you're trying to say? No, have you not? Like, I mean, no, I'm you... pretty boring. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You didn't jump off of? No. Uh, he was um, born in the wrong era. My you dad know, never, like the seventies, maybe. My dad was really big on no two wheels. He was, he was always four wheels. Um, yeah, motorcycle. No, 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 no it's only got two. It's only got two wheels. No, no two. You're wheels. not. So you've never like no. owned or ridden no. one. No. Wow. You know, one of, one of VC's nicknames is Johnny No Swag. Oh, you got so no just, swag. Just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, man! I'm proud of you. Thank you. Most swag, more problems. Exactly. <laughs> I read that. I read that somewhere. I can't read. Is that so that's Facebook a, meme or something? I don't even know if that really what it said. Get I don't read well. Uh, but, problems. But swag one. Swag. We can skip. We probably skip the last question. No. Uh, no. Uh, well, I have. I have one, one to go. The last question. I just want. To, uh, it's it's an inter- international question. Oh, international. Ooh, la, la. So, uh, uh, from chef in Sweden, uh, the question is. Boardy boardy board the board the board the board the board the board. Did you hear the commitment with which he delivered that? <laughs> I mean, so I think can like you answer the question, please. <laughs> and if you'd like to do it in his language, to maybe just the hard, you know, the hard part is to not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to like, laugh because like it's just I la- encourage yeah, him. If I laugh, I don't the know next why we're podcast. laughing because these are real questions from real fans. And I don't. If I laugh, him. it's true. I'll have to answer more of these. Remember those. Interview low points we were talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. For the last last one. Yeah, yeah. I think well, we've now. I think we've reached it. We've hit them. So I think we've hit them. We just missed Back to the Future Day. So but once I invent the flex capacitor, we will go back in time. And when I ask you, have there ever been any low point in interviews, you can remember the chef. That's right, the chef. But the problem is well, you'll go fast in another car. The problem is we'd have to extend that uh podcast out about twenty minutes. We have to talk about the chef. 
Oh, Dwayne yeah. Dwayne from Honolulu. I mean, that'd just be. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Yeah. If we go back in time, did this even happen? It's true. We don't know. Man, my mind just got blown. Did they tweet, did they <laughs> tweet the questions? questions. <laughs> did they tweet the questions before we went back in time? <laughs> People yeah, probably thought when you go back. Right. Yeah, yeah, hold on. If we go back in time, are the questions going to be different? <laughs> are they going to be? I mean, that's the only more reason to go back, isn't it? <laughs> Through the wormhole. Guys, I think I just pooped myself again. <laughs> And by the way, there were there's only four minutes left in this podcast, and I've guaranteed at least one poop joke per podcast, and I am now two for two. That's a two joke on purpose. Shoot. Shoot. That reminds me, of, my kids love, we would go to comedy sports, and you perform. Comedy sports, Mass Ave, Indianapolis, comedy sports, csdindy.com. Yeah, 317-951-8499. At CSD Indy on Twitter. Yes. All right. Um they play the game called the do run rap mm -hmm. and you have blown their minds. All they ever talk about is the rhyme was Sue. The, the name was Sue and mm -hmm. you rhymed it like you've got the flu. You, you got to got to spew. I got to go number two. Then you went off stage and it came back to you again <laughs> and you just came back on stage. Right. It was your turn. You went, Shoot! <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I don't remember doing that. But again, you black out during. Yeah, exactly. all my I black out during all my performances. I wake up and then go, "What happened? Did I make at least one poop joke?" I'm like, yeah, you got it in there. You're good. I'm like, oh, thank God. I knew, I figured I did. I'm covered in sweat. I know that, that means good things happen. So those were our fan questions. They <laughs> we, were awesome. They were great. We thank you all, fans. If you want to. Uh, Submit fans for the a future podcast, David. What would you? What were, where were they sent their? At Bird Racing on Twitter. At Bird Racing on Twitter. That's B Y R D. Yes, racing. Yes, or on Facebook. He's like Jonathan Bird Racing. B I R D. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't go to Bird Racing. No, no. that's a totally different. Oh, you know, yeah. we, don't, we don't like him. He's awful. Uh, <laughs> he's like six foot nine, and he used to play for the Boston Celtics. He won't even fit in a car. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got the right. knees way up high. Yeah. So, but yeah, so that was a, that was a great question. So I, I thank all the fans for sure, you know, Tanisha and Sven and Zach and Dwayne. Thank you so much. You Ar seem to be really, and Arthur, really and celebrating Arthur these questions. I feel like, <laughs> no, I feel like they were great questions. What can I say? We had some great questions from the fans they, and uh, we were really, really well, glad to have them. Must have been something wrong with the delivery then. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to judge delivery. I'm just saying that it, I'm looking over at a sheet and I can see perhaps it's all in his own handwriting. handwriting. Well, yeah. perhaps the the answers was the problem, all, not the, the question. Well, that's you know what? An interview it doesn't matter what the questions are. You should be able to give solid answers. So <laughs> I don't even believe you answered. Boardy board 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 board. I board, never board. got the answer. I think There's never an answer. Jeff needs to know. I think we all want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. The problem is Joanna says we're out of time. Oh, oh, it's it a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. Tune in next week and you might find <laughs> yeah. out just exactly how much Brian Clawson boardy board boards. <laughs> hey, for Bird Brains, hey, we have Brian Clawson, David Bird, Jonathan Bird, I'm John Colby, and JoJo on the ones and number twos. As a group, we want to tell you, everyone listening, we're, we're very, very sorry. sorry.